Hey, it's Bearwood here. I got this Fat Max, uh, what do you call it, safety knife a while back. And I thought, oh, that's cool. I had it because I didn't like the way this one here loaded the blades. You had to push that up, and push that in, slide the thing in. But it turns out this is still a better unit because the new improved version, if you look, look at that button sticking up. Every time I want to put my hand up here, it's hitting that button and releasing the catch so the thing's sliding all over the place. So even though it's easier to change, with that button sticking up like that, it's almost useless because it, the, the, um, it, you keep hitting it with your hand. So anyway, that's that. Now, I'm working on this window, door, front door setup, and then the caulking around the window is bad. So usually these things are a real pain in the butt. But I've just taken my heat gun, warmed it all up. Some parts of it, right here, this was like putty, just came right out. Up here and on that side is, um, it's a different story, sort of. But all I used was the other Stanley blade. I warmed things up and then I just came along this edge a little bit, chopped it off, and just kept thinking warm. See, there's a big piece that's come off right there like that. And that's all I've used so far. Same thing over here. See, I cut that one already. I'm just, and then I'm just taking it off. And then in a minute, we'll come along with this razor blade. And it's usually not a bad idea to put some water on the window so that this thing slides. And you want a nice clean blade so you're not scratching the glass. So that's, you get all that off. And if, if, the, wood, if the wood was rotten, showing any signs of decay or anything, I would have, I'd go for the, um, wet rot hardener put that on now at this point let that dry for a little while now I knew these windows were gonna be a pain so I brought some paint thinner not thinner paint remover that I was gonna put on there if it was a big hassle and so far you know this has come out reasonably taking me about a half an hour to get that far so and I'm, I look here at this this whole light I think I'll just, it'll probably take a wire brush and then I put some crust, K-R-U-S-T, metal protector or rust killer on there. Carry on. So now this one will be the same thing. This is horrible, horrible finish here. So I'll heat all this, warm all this up. Anywhere there's a crack like that, the water's getting in there. So this one I might be able to stop about here. Come on down, just do the bottom part. So it's just a matter of heating it up and just digging in there and getting it out of there. But you gotta make sure you, you choose the right weapon. I'm a bit disappointed in this old Stanley blade, really. The Fat Max is a fat failure.